Hey everyone, this is the Girl Switch here and welcome to another episode of Evanica. So, as you remember in the previous episode, we fought Polonius and then, you know, there was some cutscene and all that and we actually, we actually st stopped right in the middle of a cutscene. Uh, yes, we're about to see, a, actually we're about to see a hitch scene right here. Yes, it, and it involves uh, Polonius daughter because of the White Knight has, well, sort of like packed uh the, the zombie seed that is Ophelia's body with the Aiden's blood so making her making her lingering regrets right her yeah her lingering regrets inside her come alive so her lingering regret is actually that of Lars so as and Lars is one of the seven deity scenes so yep Ophelia is going to be the final uh the chapter five Final boss that we're gonna fight later on, but now we we can't do anything because we're trapped like behind a wall because the white knight blocked us from like helping Bolognius. Bolognius is now severely injured, and then the scary thing now is his daughter is about to rope him. Yes, <laughs> I, I'm not joking. His daughter is about to rope him, but but of course this is like when it's a lingering regret of yeah of last her lingering regret is to last. Her own father, you know, so yeah, she's about to last her own father, so I don't know how it's gonna go down. This is gonna be so weird, but let's find out. Alright. Okay. Well, this is hell of a weird. I wonder how old is for Ophelia, you know? Ophelia is probably like around, uh, maybe like. 10 years old or something? Yeah, or 9 or 8, you know, around there. And now she's actually like doing <laughs> her father. Um, oh, this is not the real Ophelia, anyway. It's actually what, what is left of Ophelia. Yeah, her lingering regrets, basically. And now she's like lasting her own father. Her shirt off and all. Shit. She's about to devour her. Oh, yeah. Because in the previous episode, uh, there, she was she's actually performing a ritual right now. And this ritual is actually coming true because it's like the ritual is that in here in the Sword Temple, uh, Mother Eve basically lasted uh, the first ancestor by devouring his flesh. And that scary thing actually happened. And this scene is like being reenacted right here in front of uh, uh, with his, her own daughter, her own father. Like shit, like shit, really shit. Oh my god, what is this? Seriously. Casting her own father. Oh my god. Oh my god, magnificent what? Hey, Colonies, you shouldn't be enjoying this. Not like this, though. Not like this. But you're talking not to the fake Ophelia. This is well. This is one percent of Ophelia. Yeah. Man. Ophelia reached down and touched where she was connected with her father. I don't think I don't think Ophelia even feels any pain, right? Considering that she's a zombie now. But not like this. Okay. Nanoni. Ophelia let out all her pent up love for her father by violently swinging her hips. <coughs> An unwanted jot of pleasure made him wince. <sighs> oh no. Is he gonna like 
Like, you know, spill milk before he dies. <laughs> if only Bolognius has the strength to, you know, get Ophelia off him, but he has no strength left. Bolognius tried to say, say no, but even he was surprised how weak his objections were. Well, he's, he's pretty severely injured. God. Check. I don't think Volonius can even hold back, you know. You know. You know, Saxophone is just too strong. It can be a it, it's just too tem too tempting, you know, too much temptation. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the heck? No. No, it's just your wow delusions. Bolognius gave up on arguing and resigned himself to whatever happened. Top of Bolognius, Ophidia's petite body jumped and arched backward. Oh no, here comes the moment. In response to Ophidia's arousal, her supposedly cool skin was tinged red. Bolognius body shuddered and then, ah, uh, I think we have to cut off here. What, what keeps going? I don't know. I don't get you, Ophelia. What is what keeps going? Oh man. Sharing his life with you by doing this? <laughs> Come on. Um what? What? Ophelia, you okay? Why are you licking yourself? <laughs> I mean I mean like why are you like Sticking out your tongue. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Love isn't just about saxophone, Ophelia. <laughs> My God. By the time they were done, Polonius was so fatigued he could barely breathe and severely injured on top of that. More than anything in the world, this is unhealthy obsession now. Um, together forever, even in death, Yes, you go, Spolonius. Don't become a zombie. Demo, however, Ophelia longingly rubbed her stomach. Huh? Oh! Oh, shit! Yes, there's actually another way. Basically, she becomes. Now that the milk is inside her, right? She can give birth. <laughs> so, there's an offspring. 
Yeah, so the Masaka. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no. Eat? Are you for real? Like what Mother Eve did to the first ancestor? I didn't know that Mother Eve actually ate the first ancestor, first ancestor because the, yeah, the previous episode, the Richard said something like, uh, I think the White Knight explained that the Mother Eve actually devoured the first ancestor. So they didn't like get married happily after ever after like together, but she actually devoured him. Like what? <laughs> What's going on? Like. Like, so obsessed with the first ancestor at some point in time that he, she devoured him and, and she, now Ophelia is going to do the same to Bolognius like, Oh my god, shit This is, oh my god Ophelia's twisted confession of love came with it a look of madness Well... Well... Sorry, Bolognese, I know you don't deserve to die, but we can't help you either because the White Knight is you know, block blocking our way. He summoned an invisible wall. Uh, no, this is not the real you. It's only 1% of you. Feel free to eat you. Well. Yes, in peace. Yeah, a, a true soul that is. Oh shit. Are we actually gonna see him getting eaten by her life? Okay. Gosh. Well, censored. Yeah, due to the bloody effects, yes. Ophelia crushed Bolognese's head with her bare hands. Serious? She crushed Bolognese's head with her bare hands? And then it ate the head. The only sounds left in the room were those of flesh being chewed and bones being broken. Oh my god. Oh, snack crunch crunch. Really like a zomb hungry zombie? Huh? Oh my god. And we saw that live. Oh my god. Oh, it's got my food, man. Shit, man. <laughs> Ophelia, seriously. This is not Ophelia. This is a monster. We have to take it down. Because it is so bloody. A mouth read from her dear father's blood. Ophelia almost appeared intoxicated. You're gonna die, we're gonna kill you, Ophelia. I mean, the, what's left of Ophelia. You're a monster now. Oh my god. She put Bolognia's last remaining finger in her mouth and chopped. You're, you're lonely because of your father is not going to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Ophelia found happiness and then her mind broke. Uh, so what about us? The party witnessed the horrific scene and went pale. Ophelia 
Yeah, her forbidden love lasts. その秘めた思いを封じておきたいがため、オフィリアは焼くように言ったんだ。Yeah, so, you know, but it's too late. Ah, when o p h e l i a finished consuming Golden's body, the room was filled with the power of miracles. Seriously. For real. Adoi, what have you done? The richest power is activating? Oh my god, so this is part of the Ivanica too. That Mother Eve at some point was overcome with lust and then she hurt the man she loved, and then the first ancestor died. <laughs> wow, now that we actually learned this horrific truth about Mother Eve, can the marriage even continue? Can the marriage even carry on? I mean, the, the, the wedding between Mother Eve and Uh, the first ancestor was supposed to be a happy ending. Right? I mean, it, it was supposed to be a happy marriage, but this sort of thing actually happened. Did this happen like during their marriage? I mean, after they were married or what? No? That's what, that what, that's what makes me curious, you know? Oh. Ah, uh, that explains the existence of this sort temper. When she came to her senses and realized that she. because she devoured the first ancestor, you know, and realized that she killed her love. You know, her loved one, her loved one. Oh my god. This actually happened. I think this probably happened after they were married. Yeah, not before they were married or what, but after they were married. But to think this actually happened, man. This is tragic. じゃあ儀式を行えば使用神殿が元の姿に戻るっていうのか Just like other events of the Ivanica revert to how it was before and all that. I know. Okay. Look、uh, what the. All these world changing powers focusing around Ophelia. Yeah, right. You're so bloody, you know. So, Ayen, the Tokyo Sugasuna. So, not the many. Chicada, Hosina. You need power? No, you don't need power. We're going to take you down. Yeah, I mean, she's the one who, we, who started the ritual. <laughs> My God. Test the results. What, what, what results? The white knight slashed at Ophelia. What? Oh shit. But before the blade reached her, it smashed into little pieces. Hey, what? White knight, your, your blade's gone! Yeah. No, we're going to take her down soon enough. Nope, your, your plan is going to get foiled. We'll take her down. What? The Black Knight can have his fun. What? The Black Knight is going to fight us? Oh wait! Esther's shout went unheard by the White Knight as he vanished in the same fashion that he had appeared. Oh yeah, yeah definitely teleportation. You can think about that later. 
Let's do it for Ophelia first. Uh, like now? I'm f- <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not in good condition to fight her! Oh, no, please no. Where are, where are Esther's sisters when we need them? <laughs> I don't think we can take Ophelia down right now, not when I'm in this condition. <laughs> Ophelia embraced herself and whispered as though to speak to Polonia somewhere inside her body. Uh, we have to stop her. Seriously, we have to. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, definitely. Off the deep end now. Huh? Or some friends? Who? What? Oh yeah, she's the zombie scene, right? So she, she literally has the power to control the zombies. Oh, oh crap. Crap, crap. Ophelia left the immobilized group behind and slowly made her way out of the sword temple. Well, at least, she, thankfully, she didn't like eat us first. <laughs> so we're safe at least, but we have to get ourselves mobilized first. Yeah, we have to stop her. Yeah, yeah, we should go now, yes. Alright, let's go! Snakecrest had driven Ophelia to insanity. Afraid she might reach Hamlet before they did, the party decided to swiftly leave the sword temple. After her, I guess. Um, yeah, we're... I'm not gonna walk here. <laughs> I'm gonna teleport. Uh, yeah. Let me go heal myself up and I'll see you outside Hamlet in a bit. Alright. So we're now outside Hamlet, so let's go. We have to warn the Pope and the rest of the people at Hamlet basically. Yes, North, North Sheen and all. The party ran to the city of Hamlet and went, went straight to the cathedral. By the way, we do have the body, right? <laughs> we do have cross body, right? We didn't just leave the sword temple with the cross body left behind, right? Yeah, we have cross body. <laughs> no, no, we have to bring her back, okay? We have to resurrect her first, most, most important here, bring Kra back. Yeah, but uh, more importantly, there's big trouble. Well, yeah, it's safe. Yeah, we managed to get it back fine, but then... Yeah, you felt some immense power, right? One of Eve's ruins. Yeah, th that zombie seed basically resurrected one of the rituals, powers. We don't have much time. You can not share the other church people together. Or the or the priests basically church people. <laughs> the group called everyone to the cathedral and went over what had happened at the sub temple. Yeah. Yes, that was apparently Snake Crest Gold from the start. Actually that's not Snake Crest Gold. <laughs> that's the White Knight School. Part of White Knight School anyway. The true goal is to when 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 Ophelia eventually dies, and then the Black Knight, Black, Black Knight and the White Knight die, then the the yeah the Supreme Commander will consume their energy and then become Almighty. You know? The White Knight actually knew about the the event. It means he used to be part of the church, right? It it, it can only be that. He was a former member of the church. 
Yeah. You know something, Silent? Boronius. Naze so dan shnagata. Musume o mo kimochi krai watashi datte. Well, I don't know. It's just that he just wanted to be do things by himself. What zombies are here? A Hamlet knight frantically burst into the cathedral. Oh crap. Yes. Evacuate the civilians first. Oh yeah. Nowhere actually. <laughs> Uh, even if by ship to Humpty, uh, no, no, cannot. <laughs> not enough time. Yeah, not enough time to prepare a ship. Calm down, though. Uh, you, you seem young and inexperienced, but hey, you're the Pope, but you have to calm down. Grand Perch. Ooh. Esther? <laughs> oh yeah! Kra might be able to cast Grand Purge. But hey, she didn't mention that before. <laughs> you can use it, so why didn't you tell us earlier? What? Uh, that was that was during training, but when it comes to the real thing, it might be different. Okay, so that means we have to resurrect you first. Wait, are you saying she can cast Grand Purge as a soul, or does she have to become? Does she have to return to her body to do that? Or it's like, or or it's just that you're saying that it's because now that it's it's because she became a soul, so she has the experience to cast Grand Purge. So now when she goes back to her body, it, yeah, gets resurrected again, gets resurrected. I mean, then she'll be able to cast Grand Purge. What's that have to do with anything? Purge soul residue. So basically, the soul residue inside Ophelia. No, about souls if you want to use it, right? But and since Kra is now a soul, so she knows about souls. I see. <laughs> yeah, so Kra has been blessed with a, with a great skill. I, I'm not sure if this is the White Knight's plan actually, but if it is, then I don't know what he's trying to pull off. But if it's not, then haha, <laughs> serves you right. <laughs> Zama Miro! Okay, so you better come back to your body first. Huge, so, well, witches of the round table have huge souls because they're dragons. A silent? <laughs> okay, but first you have to be alive. You can't cast a spell as a soul, right? Yeah, you're a soul. <laughs> And your soul. <laughs> oh right. Yeah, bring her back first. Yeah, that's the thing that the principal gave us. So at least she he gave us that that cure before he died. That's right. We can just use that to turn Princess Kra back. The group quickly injected Kra's body with the cure and watched to see what would happen. Huh? But she's not a zombie anymore. The soul residue is getting in the way. Uh, so now she's the body is no longer a zombie, but there's still there's soul residue inside and it's in 
the way. Shit. What? So there's nothing we can do? Ah. Okay, okay. Get yeah, rid of the soul residue. If only Kra can cast Grand Purge as a soul, but she can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a way. Ask QD. <laughs> Anything ask QD, I think. Why didn't you say so sooner? Okay. Look for QD, yes. Yes, beggars can be choosers. Just tell us what to do. Oh, so you're saying Kra? Has lingering regrets too? What lingering regrets do you have? Could you possibly have, bro? <laughs> Is it like uh, you don't get to live your life fuller or something? <laughs> like go happy go lucky or something? Okay. Yes, that's for Ophelia. What about your sister? <laughs> Would the would Princess Cross so actually know what her, her lingering regrets are? I think she actually knows. I mean, Ophelia knows, but she couldn't say, I guess, for some reasons. I guess maybe because her soul residue is inside her body, that's why she couldn't say. Not because she didn't want to say, but more like she, she, she couldn't, you know, because of the she's lacking that that part of her so so I guess Kra wouldn't know what her lingering regrets are yeah you know and as in, in her state right now she wouldn't know but she's she's so she's she every time looks so happy <laughs> but hey even she has lingering regrets um, I don't think Kra can tell you, seriously. Nope. I mean, Ophelia couldn't tell you, so... Wait, so you do know your what your lingering regrets are, but embarrassing, you have to tell the, us, though. Yeah. Okay. Rich silently held her ear up to Kra, who bashfully whispered into it. With who? With Esther? <laughs> but the problem is your soul. Um, how are we going to fulfill that, that, that wish of yours? Are you saying, uh, uh, by, if we, if we at least, if Esther at least, uh, does your body, then, then your some of your lingering regrets will be gone. <laughs> like have saxophone with Esther. As long as Esther have saxophone with. Your body, but that's like necrophilia. <laughs> like, anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, you. I mean, every girl wants to have saxophone. I, I'm sure Kra wants to have saxophone with Esther, right? Yes. <laughs> I knew it was something trivial, but okay. Okay, Esther, it's your job now. You have to. You are, you, well, you can't have saxophone with a soul, so you can only have saxophone with a body. <laughs> Perfect. But the thing is, you had saxophone before her. That's the regret that she has. <laughs> Tose no hanashi. It's only natural. <laughs> yeah, just a body. So that means, Esther, you do your thing, Microphilia. <laughs> sure about that? <laughs> 
行かせるだけじゃダメよもうがっつりと地球の奥を突き上げるくらい激しくむさぼるくらいじゃないか deep intense trust of a weapon yes but Esther can do it he's the king of saxophone okay だから避けたかった未経験の女子に進める方法じゃない not good choice I will not be a good choice <笑>仕方がありません私が相手しますあそう今すぐベッドの準備をしてください。You said it? How are you gonna do it? What? <笑> And she's blushing.Hey, you don't really want to do this, right?I mean, you're, you're secretly in love with Cry.I know that, okay?I know you have a crush on, on, on Cry, okay?Silent <笑>さん、私たちは騎士団の編成です。Hey, no, she don't bring her hopes. <笑><笑><笑>えー、<笑> now... ためにきまってるだろう。結婚間近に控えたお姫様だぞ。Why not? So we have to get in s h e l t e r after all. But where is he? He's like back in the Central Empire, right? True. わかった。私が抱く。お姉ちゃんの処女。私にちょうだい。Wait, so it's going to be a lesbian saxophone? They can actually do this? I'm okay? Eh, <laughs> okay. so wait. Sister's lesbian saxophone? That was easy! <laughs> You're actually okay with this crowd? Okay. <laughs> You're easily satisfied, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I think she just wants to have saxophone, that's all. I don't know. I think she just wants to have saxophone, that's all. I don't know. I think she just wants to have saxophone, that's all. I don't know. I think she just wants to have saxophone, that's all. I don't know. I think she just wants to have saxophone, that's all. I don't know. I think she just wants to have saxophone, that's all. I don't know. I think she just wants to have saxophone, that's all. I don't know. I think Let's change that with saxophone. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, <laughs> not, for, not to cry. Not for cry, that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> right, yes. That's the wrong line to say, but okay. Some of your possessions. You... So you see. Oh, I mean. She, well, remember the holy water that and, and that and that you know, she had, she masturbato, right, masturbato, to get the the the, the no virgin's fluids, yeah, to be quiet for the holy water. So she, she has some possessions, okay. So possessions like something that will make rich act like a man, you know. He has the thing, you know. <laughs> Plus, which committed to taking cross virginity in order to save her life. <laughs> Are we actually doing this while the crisis is ongoing? Well, I mean, there's Noshin and uh, Silent will be like handling the, the zombies and all that, so yeah. Alright. <laughs> um, well, uh, I think as much as I'd like to uh, go to the next scene, yes. I'm actually saving this next hitch scene for the next episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling it off. I'm calling it early, a bit earlier, uh, for this episode because I have something else I need to do. So yeah, I'll stop here for this episode. So in the next episode, we'll be seeing what, how, um, which is gonna take cross virginity. But the thing is, there's definitely not gonna have milk because it's not Esther doing this. Yeah, it's Rich doing this, so it's going to be just yes, yeah, it's going to be the women's waters. Yes, uh, we're going to see women's waters for probably yes, but this will be an interesting scene, and I can't wait to, to see how it's going to go down. Yeah, but that's going to be for the next episode. Yes, so yeah, I'll see you next time. See you then.